living in this mahal, ask yourself a question, what did you do for Eid al-Adha? What did you do for Eid al-Fitr? The same thing we do year in, year out. We gather together, maybe cook some rice, some palau, maybe cook a meat curry, a chicken curry, a few samosas, a few kebabs. Then what? Sit down and we talk, discuss about money, wealth. Who's doing what? Allah forbid, even ghibad starts in the gathering. This is our Eid. People gather around for one day and they say, What's happening with your life? What are you doing with yourself? We start talking, oh, did you hear this? Everyone have a good listen to what this ghibad I'm about to say. Is this the condition of our Eid? I questioned a number of my students, I said, right, tell me, what did you do for Eid? Nothing, sat at home. What did you do? Sat at home. Number three, sat at home, visited family. MashaAllah, we understand the need of visiting. Don't, don't we think for a moment, subhanAllah, do something for the sake of Allah. Islam hasn't stopped us and made it forbidden. Islam hasn't said don't do it. We just think subhanAllah, wa- wallahu alam what we are thinking. But we have to think a bit differently for the sake of our children. If we take a little bit of time out, now okay, we are not saying to light up the whole house, but at least decorate the house, let them know that something is going on. There's something of importance which is taking place. Let them go out, start with, already tell them in 10 days time there will be Eid, in 9 days time there will be Eid, in 8 days time it will be Eid. Slowly, slowly, we are getting them worked up, we are getting them emotional, we are getting them anticipating the day of Eid. But what happens? Eid. Wake up in the morning, okay let me get my salwar kameez on, go to the masjid, do a three hug, go home, eat some food and go out with the boys in the evening to smoke some weed. Is this our days? Is this what we are doing? We don't take time out realizing that our children are becoming infected, affected. We don't sit down to ask them, what, how do you feel? No gifts, nothing. Ask each and every child, 10 children, they'll say the same thing. I've got 10 pounds, I've got 15 pounds, I've got 20 pounds, I've got a fiber. Money, just money? Ya Allah, how about the same thing? Now this is what happens. Your child goes to school, and they ask them, what did you get for your Eid? What did you get for your Christmas? And they'll say, well, I got new clothes, I got new trainers, I got new socks, and I got 10 pounds. When they come back after the new year, someone's got a new iPod, someone's got a new iPad, someone's got a new pair of, uh, a new bike, a new car, a remote control car, the latest PS4, the Grand Theft Auto 5, and they're saying, oh, well, it must be something to do with the Islam then. Maybe Islam is boring, because that's how it seems anyway. Allahu Akbar. Islam hasn't, taught, Islam hasn't taught that. We need to just do a bit more of an effort. Why not wrap presents so they can see? Why not put it in a bag? So you can say, that's your Eid present, you've got 10 more days.